Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 231, a uh, number of restricted path from first to last node. So, this is a dynamic programming problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, and let me know what you think about this problem. But yeah, uh, I think this is a little bit re weird problem the way they phrase it. But the first thing to note is that um, you can reverse the problem very easily. And what I mean by that is, you know, looking from first to last node, you have this distance to last node thing, but it, 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 if we have to, and distance to last node is very easily done, uh, or, you know, um, with a basic algorithm, like Dijkstra's algorithm, uh, or, or, or Bellman Ford or something like that. Do I, I forget what the complexity is that we're given. So, um, so yeah, using Dijkstra's algorithm, we could get the distance to last node. And once we have that, um, we are, that it becomes a longest, uh, well, the count of the increasing subsequence problem, which is kind of a variation of longest increasing subsequence. Um, and that's basically the, the way to solve this. And and the key thing, the observation is just to go backwards. Um, because then, you know, notice that, you know, we have this, this um, invariant that we're trying to uphold, which is the distance from the last node, so that it has to be increasing. If you look at the, the sequence from the last node to the, the node one it has to be increasing, right? And that means that now, if you think about the graph that we have, and it is um, a directed, or sorry, it is an undirected graph, but if you think, if you have this invariant, it becomes a directed graph. And we have a directed graph, that means you could do dynamic programming. Well, in this case, anyway, um, that means you could do dynamic programming on this directed graph. And because there's an increasing sequence, um, you know, this is a, I would say, standard dynamic programming because it comes up a lot and um, you could do this in n squared time though technically i guess you could actually do this in n log, log n time because uh can you actually hmm, maybe that's a little bit trickier because i think that's just longest increasing subsequence you could do an n log n but i don't know if you can do the counting one in n square but so let me know if you can solve that um and in that of course assumes uh you know different things because in this case it'll be v plus e uh which is in the worst case still v square in either case um but yeah so I think I went over it a lot. Um, but yeah, I hope that, you know, after you break it down, it should be more clear um, because I think the distance to last node, you can find that for every node just by Dijkstra's. And I'm going to go over it by going over the code because I think this is, um, you know, easy to go. Um, and this is just standard Dijkstra for my implementation. I, I write it differently sometimes, but, but yeah, uh, I just set up, you know, the distance and whether the nodes are done, the infinity, and and this is just me setting up uh, a, an adjacency graph uh, or adjacency list on a graph with the, you know, with the node and the distance mapping U and V. Um, I just like zero index, that's why I did it this way. And then, yeah, we put it on a heap, which I, I put as a terribly labeled Q, but this is just Dijkstra's algorithm, and this is going to be O of, you know, V log E time, and it's my implementation. I know you could get it down um, plus E, I guess, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, wait, is that right? Yeah, roughly. Something like that, right? Uh, is it E log E? Hmm. Now it should be okay, because you only pop each node once. Um, cool. So yeah, so the, oops where we is number of vertexes and year is number of edges, um, of course. But yeah, so this is standard Dijkstra's and from, from this, uh, at the distance, oops, from this, the distance array will tell you all the distances uh, from the last node. And of course, we, Dijkstra, we do a Dijkstra's from the last node, which is n minus um, one, all the way back to the zero. No well, we just go do a full graph shortest uh, we do a full shortest path graph. Um, I think it's a connected graph, so we don't have to worry about it. Well, I didn't worry about it, so I'm glad it doesn't. And then after that, we have all these distance things. And and yeah, and this is just the longest, um, you know, oops, variation of uh, longest increasing subsequence. And this recurrence should be clear to people who do longest increasing subsequence, which is that, okay, um, you know, we start at the last node, if we are able to hit node zero, which is the first node, we return one. Otherwise, we look at all the edges, and as long as, um, 
as long as di- this uh, invariant is true, which is, and this is literally given in the formula, which is the distance of x is greater than the distance of node, we go down that path and we count it. And of course, we memorized it with the LRU cache to kind of make it true. Um, so this is actually going to be, as I said, oh, we plus y because for because for for each node we, um, you know, for each node we look at or its edges, um, and that's pretty much it, right? And yeah, and it's going to be Y dominated by Y if, y, uh, you know, most vertices out of an edge because um, the number of edges is this for, like the sum of all the edges will be the sum of all these four loops, which is Y is O of V plus Y. Um, and of course, if you look at it back, then this is going to be dominated by or we log e. So that's basically the complexity. Um, this is a very short snippet, so let me know what you think. As I said, um, if you do have trouble with this problem, the two things that I would recommend, one is just work on Dijkstra's algorithm. Uh, that's something that you just have to do. Uh, it comes up on interviews and stuff like that all the time. And the other one is longest increasing subsequence, which is a relatively basic dynamic programming problem nowadays anyway, because people ask it all the time. So yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. And in, oh yeah, in terms of space complexity, this is also going to be O of V because we keep track of the distance um, and dynamic programming. Also, you know, we keep track of n nodes, so it's going to be O of V. Uh, oh well, actually, I guess I converted to an adjacency list, so this is going to be O of V plus Y, which is linear in the size of the input. Um, so yeah, linear linear space uh, dice for the time algorithm. Um, that's all I have. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna make it smaller so you could kind of look at it on one page. Uh, this is roughly good enough, right? Maybe. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is roughly good enough. Let me know and and cool. And you could watch me solve a live during the contest next. <clears throat> That's not gonna be good. <laughs> what a weird problem set already. All right, let's do. Uh, oh, for me. Say what? One to node n. Distance to last note. They don't tell you what the parentheses are, it's real confusing. Oh, each circle contains no number in black. So one to five. Distance to last node. So this is last note. This is so much reading. And an X. From one to five. So I go one to five. Oh, distance to the last node, to the five. Oops. Okay, I get it now. which I didn't spend so much time on the other one and I was misreading it.
That's not right. Two, three, two. That's not right. Uh, why am I so bad right now? That's right, I forgot. Um. Oops. Okay, so now this is right.
that is the mod, but it, sometimes they mix it up and that's funny. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. L let me know what you think about this farm explanation or whatever. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.